What's up guys? Welcome to another video and today we'll be discussing a small tool that might save your turbo. Let's get it. So just to make it clear, I've already installed a part. Um, the whole story was uh, I drove one day and I was just coasting down and I started hearing an excessive rattle and then it got worse especially when I parked at home and I'm listening to it and I have some clips of how it sounds so you can hear what I'm what I'm talking about. And it's even more obvious when you're inside the cabin, at least in my experience. Um, when you're driving by like a sidewalk or any clo enclosed area or anywhere where the rattle can bounce off any objects, you can hear it. And it's kind of embarrassing and annoying at the same time. Now, I took it to, uh, I, I took it to one of my buddy's shop just to see that, just find out where the rattle is coming from. But I wasn't 100% sure if it was Maybe um, something related to the exhaust, maybe the clamps are getting loose, whatever the case may be. So we did some did some digging and we found out it was actually the wastegate or the wastegate actuator really. So what we realized that the link between the wastegate and the wastegate actuator is pretty loose. And after, our, it, this isn't actually a normal wear and tear on a lot of Volkswagens, a lot of Volkswagen turbos, where after a time, the wastegate link starts to shake more and more and more. There's more play, thus making that uh, excessive and, and annoying rattling noise. And um, usually when that happens, the wastegate itself also starts to fail. And then you start having a boost leak and then you start having a code. And basically you need a new turbo. Now, I was getting ready to, to say, screw it all, go KO4, let's have some fun. Luckily, my buddy had an idea where he said that there's something called a wastegate clip um, or actuator clip, whatever it's called. And he was saying that to give that a shot because he said that a lot of times people come in for that similar issue and we'll see if it's willing to save your turbo or at least buy you more time. But unfortunately, if it doesn't, if it start, if it's still by, um, rattling from the wastegate itself, then there's no way to fixing it. You just have to get a new one, a new turbo. So luckily he had one actually on him and he said, let's give it a try. He said that the worst case scenario, you just find out you need a new turbo. So we put it on and then we test drove the car. And like I said, the rattle tends to appear during the de um, deceleration. So we're coasting around. We're trying to get close to areas where we can listen to it. We even rev um, revving it at, at the shop and we didn't hear any rattle. So we were first we were a little bit excited. I said, okay, let's do the ultimate test. So I've been driving it down the road back and forth that day and I haven't heard any rattle, nothing like that. And I was like super excited. I was like, wow, this is pretty good. Um, now that's been two weeks. So since two weeks, I've been daily driving that car and it's holding up pretty well. Uh, I can't complain thus far. My all my real test towards this small clip is how good is it and how long would it last? So I haven't changed my driving habit. It's just the same driving habit as before. I was just trying to figure out like how long will it last, and is it really is it is it actually worth the money, even though if it's cheap, or you're just better off just say screw it. Why bother even putting going through to put that on? You could just simply. You know stack up the cash and buy a new turbo and have some more you know get some more gains while you're at it so just want to make it clear is that that clip only holds the link between the wastegate and the actuator itself it does not save the wastegate completely unfortunately because once that wastegate gives out once the gate is either slightly open it can't go all the way can't close all the way that's when you start getting a code. Might as well go ahead and replace the turbo. But thus far, I'm happy with the car. I'm happy with this new part. And we'll see how long it actually lasts. And is it worth the money? And on that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Peace.